Hello again, this is Zodi and we're doing a little video about digging up antiquities. Um, in the first part we talked about scrying and I gave you a little bit of tips how to do it better. <laughs> and right now I'm gonna give you some tips how to dig up the antiquities in the field. It's another mini game that works quite differently and it is sometimes quite challenging. So as an introduction, let's bring up this skills menu associated with it. It's called excavation. And you can see here that you have the hand brush. Um, this is the basic skill where you basically just swipe around one layer of dirt in a one by one area. The same um, you can do with a trowel, that's the next skill that removes three layers from a one by one. Or you can trigger chain reactions in fissures. Then there is also the heavy shovel which removes one layer of dirt in a three by three area which is very useful. Uh, again if you have it unlocked excavators uh, reserves is also very useful because you get more time to dig up um, the game the mini game works in this way that every time you use an action whether it's just the brush the trowel or the shovel you're gonna get time for digging um, reduced so time takes away <laughs> so to say I do not re recommend getting keen eyes because, well, dig sites are easily found by the scrying tool, by the antiquarian's eye. And also, treasure chests can easily be marked on PC with uh, the map add-on. Um, on PlayStation, I don't know, it's probably worth it. Can't tell. So, um, then let's go up and, yeah. He's digging it up as well. Well, we're on live. Got expected. So we're here at the dig site. Maybe you notice I've had to change it <laughs> from the last video. So we're now on. We click OK and up comes the mini game. And you can see here we have an area where we have 10 by 10 grid. And antiquities are usually taken up yeah either three by three or two by four grids and it's basically like uh, finding where we are with that we can use the auger the auger is basically um, scrying in that 10 by 10 area and what i recommend is all always um, starting at the corners three to the side and three above so that you are always getting a good reading as you can see here as long as I hover over that I'm totally off by the way <laughs> yeah bad auger <laughs> and now the highlighted area gives me uh, the closest green area where basically it says the antiquity lies there or the the, the treasure that I'm trying to get dig up lies there so I now do that same from the opposite side and know, all right, now it's a very close area and I'm basically still having five charges where I can test out. Oh, that's uh, not far, that's not good. It's probably somewhere here. Oh, still not. Ah, there's one. There's another one. And the last one, eh, okay. Okay, now it's really cool. Since I know, um, I have two greens here and one there so there is nothing lower than here so that's probably not one um, it's probably also not these and I'm going to try to dig up that area here with them but not lower than this so right now you can also see that there is different types of gravel here and that represents different layers of dirt that you have to get rid of. Um, I intend to use the shovel here and I'm gonna have to start charging the shovel so to say. Those are your tools, trowel and shovel. And with that 
I'm going to get one charge for those if I remove one layer of dirt. Look at this here. Poof. There you go. One charge. And I get another charge. Another charge. And what I'm doing is right now getting all of those together. And now I can use the heavy shovel. Here you can see the area. And what the shovel does, it takes all the areas away where you have them. Right. And right now I'm gonna be clicking it on now I'm gonna be fucking up but let's, let's let's see what happens boom right now we took all the dirt in that one area and we went down and right now you can see here we can ah we're down too right and we can now do everything all at once and ah, now I can see already the move uh, the the shape and now we can see Woo, there we are I could have obviously done it a different way but I wanted to show you now the travel by the way can be used to dig five uh, zones down or five layers down so everything that is this shape or lower is going to get unlocked. So again, one, two, three, four. And by the way, after you've dug that up, you can also duck, uh, dig for treasures, but I don't know. Treasures are really meek in that system. The only thing I do recommend is that you do not dig up these uh, puffing squares or tiles because they uh, can explode if you do that and if they explode they can damage your antiquity which in this case has four life points which is that gorge up here and if you uh, cause an explosion or you dig too deep and you damage the encasement with your say your trouble or your heavy shovel then you're gonna damage it and if that gorge goes to zero because you've damaged the antiquity too much then you're gonna lose it and have to find a new dig site again we don't want that <laughs> okay now here just roll up the time and right now yeah now that's important we have completed the excavation have acquired faded citric folio and at the same time unlocked a new lead which is very important a lead for warped scrying dipper okay and now it also reminds us that we can now scry the warped dipper all right so that's basically it for excavating it pretty easy very nice and obviously the difficulty rises there will be much more much much more layers of dirt for the ultimates there will be much more fissures that can explode if you dig wrong and the positioning of those antiquities within the layers is going to be sometimes very questionable so you won't know where they actually are and sometimes you have to dig just dig and hope you can find something where you dig. <laughs> yeah, that happens much more often than I'd like to admit, actually. <laughs> but in the end, you can repeat it every time. So don't worry about damaging those antiquities. It's not like you're going to be getting like a broken antiquity. It's, it's not. Um, anyways, hope you had fun, hope you learned something about scrying and about excavating antiquities. I hope you like my little view, oh, right, uh, on Ateum. And we're gonna see us in the next video where I can explain um, how to level up antiquities fast. Bye!